was a place with all the sick of new Capona. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC, Nuka World. My name's Camel, and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show us how to acquire and also use the unique Gatling laser known as Eternus. Or with an ancient Latin accent, Eternus. But with pronunciation aside, it is the best weapon in the game. And of course to acquire it, you will need the Nuka World DLC installed. Now towards the end of the main quests for the Nuka World DLC, after you foothold three Raiders settlement in the Commonwealth, upon returning to Nuka World, you will get the quest Amoral Combat. All we need to do is talk to Fritch, the guy that runs the Nuka Cade. So of course we need to head to the Nuka Cade. If by this point you don't know where this is, then you truly have a catastrophic sense of direction. Once inside, just like the quest suggested we do, we need to talk to Fritch. He will tell us someone has come through the gauntlet and is now in the arena ready for us to fight. What do we want to do? Of course we want to click I'll fight in the arena. After this, head over to the Cola Cars Arena, and once inside you want to actually walk into the arena. Once in here, you will be faced with a challenger who has come through the gauntlet and of course kill them. As soon as you do this, you will complete the quest Amoral Combat. Now this is a repeatable quest, which we do want to repeat several times, five times in fact. So now we need to re-trigger the quest. So what we want to do is fast travel to Safari Adventure Primate House. Once here, we want to walk inside the building, and once inside head over to the right, and over in the corner there will be a sleeping roll or a mattress. What we need to do is wait for 24 hours. Now you don't need to come here specifically, but what we need to do is change cell, which we've now done three times by entering this place, and then we need to wait over 24 hours, but with the sleep time and the travel time combined, we will have passed over 24 hours worth of time. So once you've waited that long, head back outside and fast travel back to Nuka Town, USA. Once we get here and re-enter, we will get a moral combat once again. Then of course, go and talk to Fritch, enter the arena, and defeat the combatant. We want to keep doing this until the fifth time we get a moral combat. On that fifth time, as all the other times, we want to head into the arena. But this time, we will be facing off against the rogue knight, who ran away and turned into day. And of course, as we're facing off against him in the arena, we need to kill him. Upon his death, in his inventory, there will be nothing of interest. So what you need to do is scan the area around where you killed him and look for Eternus. It will be sitting on the ground and it's pretty obvious because it's a pretty big weapon. And of course, once you track it down, pick it up. And you will now have the best weapon in the game. I'll explain why in a little bit. As always, before morning it out and looking at the weapons base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is that we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. Eternus. So first of all, I'm going to be adding the overcharged capacitor. This increases the damage by 75%. Secondly, I'm actually going to be going with the standard barrels. This increases minimum range by nine times, increases max range by 16 times and increases the VATS cost by 25%, which is actually way cheaper than the charging barrels. The standard barrels also has about a third of the charging barrels damage, but it's got about five times the fire rate. So we're actually going to be getting a higher DPS with a standard barrel. Next, we're going to be going with the reflex sights. This adds 1.5 times zoom, reduces sight spread by 15%, reduces VATS cost by 15% and reduces sight time by 10%. And lastly, we're going to be going with the beam focuser. This adds two times range reduces spread by 20% and reduces recoil by 15%. And when you pick Eternus up, it should already come with pretty much all of these mods anyway. So once Eternus has been modded out the way I just did, it has a base energy damage of 24. It uses fusion cores as ammunition. Not fusion cells, but fusion cores. It has a fire rate of 272, thanks to that standard barrel. Its range is 227, which is an incredible range. Its accuracy is 63, its weight is 29 0.2 pounds, a bit heavy, but trust me, well worth it. And its value is a whopping 4,442 caps. And as we can see up the top there, although it looks like Eternos or a Eternos or something like this, it is actually Eternos, which I'll explain in a second. But as we can see, underneath the name, unlimited magazine size. Oh boy. So first of all, the name. It sounds really weird, I know. Eternus. I personally wouldn't have pronounced it Eternus, with the AE being like Eon, which is spelt A-E-O-N, and pronounced Eon. 
therefore I would have called this E. Turnus. But no, it is actually an Italian word derived from a Latin word, which is exactly the same and pronounced really strangely. I turnus. So yeah, if you thought I was pronouncing it weirdly, well, I suppose I was, but it is correct. And what this word means is permanent, lasting, perpetual, eternal, endless, or immortal. So you get the drift. You see what those clever cats over at Bethesda did? A weapon with an unlimited magazine size and its name means eternal? Real clever. But anyway, now that I've done all that linguistic research and explaining for you, Eternus, as I'm sure we've figured out by now, is a unique Gatling laser. With, of course, the never-ending legendary prefix. Which on the face of it, when you first find out about it, you go, this is the best thing ever. But then of course, what it does is subtracts the reloading animation, letting you know that you've burnt through a whole bunch of ammunition. So in general, the endless legendary prefix on weapons that fire quickly is quite scary because you burn through your ammunition stocks at an insane rate. So what's the scariest of them all? I don't know, a Gatling laser with a standard barrel. So on the face of it, this is an incredibly scary weapon. But there are a couple of hidden little secret mechanics when it comes to Eternus. And boy oh boy, is it gonna make you happy. Although Eternus is labeled with having the never ending legendary effect, its actual effect gives the weapon true unlimited ammunition. Not ammunition capacity, but unlimited ammunition. As we know, it uses fusion cores as ammunition. And instead of just having to never be reloaded, what it does is it only uses a portion of the fusion core that's in it, but then the fusion core's charge will not decrease again while using Itonos. So essentially, you can walk around with one fusion core in your inventory and use Itonos, dare I say it, Itonosily. That's right lads, it exists. It's here. The thing we all dreamed of and that we thought the prototype UP-77 was. This is it. This legitimately has unlimited ammunition. And well, after doing about three seconds of thinking, there is literally no better weapon to have unlimited ammunition. This has got the fastest fire rate, which means you're going to burn through ammunition much quicker than any other weapon, which means the biggest downside to using the best weapon in the game is that it uses too much ammunition. But now, Eternus literally gets rid of that downside. It's absolutely mental. I never thought I'd say this, but it's one bug that I do not want Bethesda to fix. Although I feel like it's not a bug and has been done intentionally. I'm pretty sure this is just Bethesda's like cherry on top of the cake in terms of Fallout 4. Considering the first time you get a Moral Combat is pretty much at the point when you finish the DLC and then you have to do the same quest five times before you get to the point where you fight the Rogue Knight who drops this weapon. If ever, by the time you get this weapon, you've pretty much finished the DLC, and of course Nuka World is the last DLC of Fallout 4. So in short, Eternus is probably the last weapon you will ever get in your complete Fallout 4 playthrough. And I feel like Bethesda's recognized this and gone, you know what, given it's the last cool thing you're ever gonna get, let's just make it the best thing ever. Which they definitely succeeded in. It's kind of like the Mirac Sword of Fallout 4. Mirac Sword dropped off Mirac, the kind of last boss of Skyrim's last DLC. Again, the last cool weapon you get is the best one in the game. And that's exactly what Eternus is. Along with being a pain to pronounce multiple times in a video. Although we don't really need to, I suppose I should talk about what it's like using in-game. Yep. You guessed it, it's absolutely ridiculous. Its fire rate is insane. After getting all of the appropriate perks, I got its damage up to 69 energy damage per shot. It's shooting like 20 in a second. This is going to turn everything you pointed at into absolute piles of ash. The fire rate coming from the standard barrels is insane. It shoots so many projectiles in one go, the VAT sequences look a little bit silly. Feels like they go on for an eternity. It's got an incredible range, and as we know, it has unlimited ammunition. It's beautiful. Nothing else is ever needed. This is it. It's immortal, perpetual, eternal, forever lasting. It's like Duracell batteries. So something I've never said in a Fallout 4 video before, this is the best weapon in the game. So have fun playing with it, and I think you'll enjoy using Eternos as well. And here it is, Eternos in action.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my walkthrough guide for the unique Gatling laser known as Eternus. Quite literally, the best weapon in the game. If you did find this video helpful and you would like to see other videos similar to this one, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. And with all of that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here for an eternity. And I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.